Gotham is in no man's land. Episode three of The Penguin has released. I watched it and I'm going to talk about it. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, hit thumbs up and ding that bell. I'm going to be talking Penguin every after every episode and beyond other videos as well. Episode three dropped, and now we're in the slow burn, right, of this season. We've established the characters, and the setup is at play now. Sophia and Penguin are the new dynamic duo in Gotham, and doing this without without getting the Batman to notice them. And somehow it still works with no Batman. You still don't expect Batman to show up at any time because it's small time, right? He doesn't know that there's a new drug in town, a drug by Mr. Bloom. Batman villain extraordinaire? No, he's not. I don't think he's going to tie into what he is in the comics necessarily, but I like the nod at least by the name. That's not the only nod. Last week they name dropped No Man's Land, and this week you get Penguin in his No Man's Land attire which was a nice little shout out they're going on that route i think they're going to slowly play into that as we get into the batman 2 speaking of batman 2 court of owls is the villain many people are anticipating to be a part of that i am on the train i think somewhere in this batman universe in the reeves verse the court of owls will be making a play at some point how when we don't know but in this episode i think they might have given us a little introduction with the character of Calvin, who was with Victor in episode one and has been missing since. If you don't know much about Calvin and the Court of Owls, let's get into it very briefly right here. Calvin Rose was a key character in the Court of Owls storyline, a former circus performer and escape artist, but he was recruited by the Court of Owls to become one of their lethal assassins known as the Talons. However, Calvin's strong moral compass led him to rebel against the court after realizing their true sinister nature he becomes a fugitive hunted by the court while using his escape skills to survive calvin is a unique character in the batman universe as he actively fights to bring down the very organization that trained him i don't think this character is going to manifest into this iteration of calvin rose but it's a nice name drop a nod maybe to what we'll be getting from the court of owls in the future of this universe the bigger picture of gotham because the one great thing about the reeves verse is that gotham is a character in and of itself it's not just batman it's not just the rogues gallery gotham is in there but what is the who is the puppet master of gotham and i think all roads are leading to the court of owls partners now temporarily all right, let's get right into the deep dive of this review. And uh, I will say I liked it. It's another solid episode, not one of the stronger ones, but it really showed Sophia and Penguin and their dynamic relationship and how they really don't trust each other. And you really learn a lot more about how Sophia doesn't trust Oz and why she wouldn't trust Oz. He threw her under the bus, if you will. Uh, he called her out to Carmine saying that she was the hangman killer and she refuses to believe that she is the hangman killer. Some people have been speculating that her psychiatrist julian rush is the actual hangman killer that remains to be seen we'll find out i guess as this series progresses now the show's taking a deep dive into the complex dynamics of gotham's criminal empire focusing on oswald kamapot's relentless pursuit of power this episode brilliantly showcases oswald's tactical genius as he navigates the dangerous waters of gotham's underworld balancing fragile alliances while carefully plotting his next move Colin Farrell embodies every ounce of this character's ruthlessness and ambition, turning what could be a standard mobster storyline into something more gripping and layered. The episode also spends time fleshing out the other characters, particularly Sophia Falcone, who continues to emerge as a real force to be reckoned with. Her power play for control over Gotham is heating up, and the show successfully sets the stage for an inevitable clash between her and Oswald. The tension between them feels palpable, giving the audience a real sense that a bloody, inevitable showdown is just around the corner. But we also get to see a lot more of Victor in this. We start off with Victor, and we see Victor's point of view of the end of the Batman movie when the Riddler blows up Gotham and floods it. We see the aftermath and the consequences it has on Victor and Victor's friends in his neighborhood. And we also get to see a lot more because of that. Through that, we get to see a lot of that play into his relationship with Oz and he's not afraid of Oz which was something that really struck me in this as you think oh Oz is the big gangster he's afraid and he plays into that with Oz in a bathroom scene when they have a brief falling out 
but he has a moment to go with his girlfriend and leave Gotham City forever. And Oz gives him that out. And ultimately, he decides to come back. In this episode, we get to see how he how how Victor slowly falls into the trap of being in the mobster life. He, you know, we see him, he starts innocent, and now he's slowly fading in. And by the end of it, he's all in. He is all in on the life of crime with with his mafia family now. And what's even more impressive is how this show continues to blur the lines between good and evil. While Oswald is cl clearly the anti-hero, the narrative doesn't shy away from showing his vulnerability, whether it's through fleeting moments of doubt or his strained personal connections adding more depth to his character. Overall, episode three of The Penguin is an excellent continuation of this gritty crime saga. With each episode, the stakes are rising, Character arcs are becoming richer, and the power struggle within Gotham's dark world is more thrilling than ever. The series continues to cement itself as one of the best new crime dramas on television 100%. And I love this show. I Like I say, I love this show. I don't watch a lot of TV, but this one I am all in on. When this episode ends, there's a moment when, the, when Sophia and Penguin are sharing the cigarette at the end, and she's like, I don't think I can ever trust you again because he put her in prison for being the hangman, even though she claims she's not the hangman. Doctor, she's not the hangman, she says. Uh, and he says, well, you're just going to have to just continue to let me show that you can trust me. And in that moment, the Maroney family shows up. And that's when Victor comes to save the day. But when Victor saves the day, Oz, Penguin, gets in that car. And they scoot out of there, right? They rush out. And he's and Victor says, well, what about Sophia? And he's basically like, F her. Screw her. We're out of here. So I don't. we don't know where Sophia ends up at the end of this episode. And we don't know where her head's going to be at when she wakes up from this episode either. Because Oz, it's not looking good for Oz Cobb when he ditches his new partner in crime who doesn't trust him at all for what he did to her. And it keeps getting, they keep pushing that point. Uh, VD, they make a power play for VD to catch him. Uh, they don't kill him though. They come close. And Oz really hits his breaking point with them. And you see how Oz goes from calculated to maniacal, <laughs> psycho, uh, who, will, who will stop at nothing to get what he needs with Vidi when Vidi starts to put the pressure on Oz and his relationship with Sophia and how Carmine actually viewed him. And we're getting a lot of that, right? We don't know, like, the way Carmine viewed him, with, when you remember Alberto from the first episode saying that, you know, he, he that Carmine knew that Oz was taking some money off the top, but it didn't matter. Uh, because he didn't really, he didn't respect him too much. So he's like, as long as it's not too much to notice, that's fine. He does his job. But there's no respect for Oz. And we get even more of that. It's really pushing him to the limit. And at the end, you know, he, when Sophia says, was it worth putting me in Arkham? And he says, well, first he says he didn't mean to have her in Arkham. He didn't think it was going to go that far, which could be a lie, could not be. But then he says, he, 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 he admits it. He says, yes, it was. He goes, I got the iceberg lounge. I got the drop ring. He goes, a guy like me. Can you believe it? a guy like me? Earlier in the episode, there's a great moment, too. They're at a restaurant, and Oz shows great character here where Victor starts to stutter, and the waiter finishes his line, and Oz says, no, you let him finish what he's saying. And that was it's great on him. That's also, I think, something from his mother. If you remember first episode, there's a handicap seat. Oz refuses to sit on it. He doesn't like to, to see that. He doesn't like to see his weaknesses, and he's doing that with Victor as well. But towards the end of this episode, he does what the waiter did to Victor, to Victor. And he says, he's, he kind of, he goes, get on with it, basically. Like, I'm going to finish your sentence for you. Oz is a very insecure person who plays by his rules and only his rules. And he doesn't even have to play by his rules. He makes them up as he goes along. He just wants to get to the top of the class any way he can, as fast as he can. But another solid episode of The Penguin. HBO, you're crushing it. It's going to be weird, though, going from all the F-bombs and smoking to the Batman 2 where you know he'll have like a candy cane in his mouth and uh and no probably no gun like no no f bombs so they'll be like friggin bat the friggin bat again ah, ah. i still think victor's going to die because he is jason Todd. thanks everybody for watching if you like the video again thumbs up subscribe ding the bell we'll see you next time thanks for watching really appreciate your time let me know if you guys are liking the show in the comments down below